Welcome to Need to Know Radio. This is Sean Fielding together with my co-host, David Dykowski. You're my baby. You're my favorite waste of time. Now, Sean, news pundits, those in the media who busy themselves with all things news, they tell us that the current news cycle lasts only 24 hours. 24 hours is not very long. Here at Need to Know Radio, we throw open windows to a world filled with exciting big picture stories. We like to look at topics that have been around and brewing for decades, centuries, even millions and billions of years. Oh, mercy, mercy me. Oh, things ain't what they used to be now. David, I think we have an exciting show lined up for our listeners today. Indeed, we do, Sean. We are going to take off to the heavens and look at the latest developments in space exploration. This is ground control to Major Tom. You've really made the grade. And the papers want to know whose shirts you wear. So you say the Rosetta spacecraft has now reached Comet 67P. What's the next step? Well, the Rosetta will be mapping out 67P to determine the best landing site for the fillet lander. How large is fillet, David? Oh, it's about the size of a mini fridge. Turn your watch, turn your watch back. About a hundred thousand years. David, today we're going to devote our show to the fascinating subject of dinosaurs, or as the scientists like to call it, paleontology. That's right, John. We're not in Jurassic Park anymore. For example, last week a new hadrosaur was discovered in Utah that lived only 50 miles from the coast. 50 miles from the coast? In Utah? Wait now. So you're saying that the original 7-Up actually contained lithium? That's lithium as an additive. Most people don't realize there are traces of lithium in many of the world's drinking water supplies. Broadcasting from Zurich, Switzerland, this is David Dykowski and Sean Fielding, and this is Need to Know Radio. That's Need, the number two, no radio. Check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and Mixcloud. We look forward to joining you next time, but for now, Auf Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen.